Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is. Uh, oh, yeah, this is just me doing an extra RNG problem, uh, random problem. So let's go. I have one problem that I haven't done before, so let's let's see. I have a hard problem. Hey, yay, we'll see how this goes. Uh, a lot of uploads, a lot of downloads, so I'm excited. Uh, 488, design in memory file system. All right, well. Design a data structure that simulates uh, an in-memory file system. I don't know, my tongue is all whatever today. Implement a file system class where um, you know you can initialize. You can do ls on a path. Uh, okay, you can make a directory. You could add content to file, and then you could read content from file. All right. I mean, I don't know what the. Mm, I mean, all right. I mean, it is fine. Um, it's just, I mean, it, that's the kind of tricky thing, right? Is that uh, if you actually know OS uh, operating system, this stuff is like way hard to kind of, well, this is very hard to do uh, correctly. It, it, there are a lot of edge cases, a lot of race conditions, a lot of stuff like that. Uh, maybe for here, we can simplify things, but it just kind of, you take, if you simplify things, it takes the bite out of it a little bit. Um, maybe we can, there are a couple of things that you, you may kind of try to think about. Um, I think, for example, a directory, maybe we can just put in a tree type structure. Um, to be honest, you don't maybe even need to do that per se, but I think that's probably like the clean way to do it, maybe. I mean, all these things, are, like we don't have enough cores that it matters that much, to be honest, but yeah, you know, let, let's play around with it. Let, let's create a tree type thing, right? So then here, uh, maybe we can do self that root is equal to some node, right? Uh, yeah, right. And then here we can define a class node. Um, and then maybe this just gives like, um, yeah, just two things, right? Files and directories. Let's go do it this way, right? Um, and of course directories would be, um, you know, more nodes really. But, um, yeah, okay. Um, but actually, I want these to be hash tables. Um, yeah, that's what I meant. That's always like, something feels funky. But, uh, but yeah, ls then would just be a traversal of the tree. Um, let me look at the failure cases. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. If path. Mm, it's a little bit awkward. Um, I think the tricky part sometimes here, at least for me, is just deciding where the responsibilities are. Um, uh, yeah, um, I mean, technically, maybe you would actually have one more layer, but then I don't, uh, for laziness, I don't really want to do more code uh, or like just more. I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Just more like you know, a uh, uh, glue code or whatever, but, all right, right. So we're gonna split it by this thing, right? Uh, can we tell if something is a file name or not? This is just a little bit awkward, but okay, fine. I think that should be okay. So path different, so P is equal to this, right? So I think the thing that I was trying to look for is just to see where, what happens if it doesn't exist. I guess it just kind of, I don't know. Does it just like we? Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe. Okay, it doesn't actually try. Okay, so I guess that's the thing that I was looking for. I mean, like it's not hard to handle. It's just that you have to handle it, right? So yeah. Um. Okay. So then here, then it would just give like A B C D, right? So then now, uh, current is equal to. Oh yeah, that's the thing that I do I was looking for. I was looking for like a C D type thing, but. Uh, like change directory type thing, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, right, so for um, D for directory in path, um, the last one may not be, so it's a little bit awkward. So if um, it's eh, maybe I could write something like if D in current dot files, that just means that this is a file. Is this a file? I don't know if that's clean, cleaner than just writing. Okay, let's just play if this is directories. Is this a direct? Is this a directory? 
if d is in directories then current is equal to current dot directories of d um, else uh, we want to assert that it is uh, a file so we want to do d in current dot files and then if it is then we can just uh, what do we print again for the ls list of files and the directory names oh no if it's file then we turn only this file name okay so then we return just d maybe we'll uh we'll double check that one but yeah otherwise um so otherwise we go through everything and then um we want to return everything in this thing so then we want to return i'm just going to write this in a lazy way uh self dot direct dot keys right um self oh not self but current oops current dot files dot keys something like that right and then make directory um it's gonna be the same idea right What does make directory do on this? Uh, the mill directory you should create the mill as well. That's what I was talking to do. In uh, in you know, there's a da uh, dash p parameter, but I guess it's just on by default, right? So for d and p, for d and p, what am I doing in my life? All right, anyway, uh, so if d is in, well, I write this actually the other way, but if d is not in here, then current that directories um of d is equal to a new node and then after that um current is equal to current dot direct t right we don't return anything so that's fine uh and then file path so p is equal to file path dot split and again which was i probably eh, okay fine maybe i should have a i don't know they do slightly different things but i, I don't know maybe i just need a traversal but they do do slightly diff different things, so it's a little bit awkward, right? Uh, so assert d in current dot directories. Uh, okay, fine. That's a little bit awkward, but fine. Um, yeah, okay. There are a couple of things you can think about. Uh, we'll talk about it as well. So, um, okay, so maybe I can just separate this one out because we this one is not ambiguous whether it's a file path or a directory path, it has to be a file path, right? So, here, then maybe I can just I, I don't know if this is the right syntax for having this last one. Hmm, let me actually print P here, uh, for a second. Actually, not sure. Um, that's why. Hmm. Oh, I guess we do an LS on this one, so that's why. Um, hmm. I'm hoping that we can. All right, we're well, just. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so that there is a way to write this. Hmm. Maybe something like this, but I don't know. Eh. Okay. Fine. Uh. Like, I, I know maybe like you can do something like this, but maybe that's different. Yeah, I think, I mean, th that's fine, but, but that's not what I want. Right. Uh, th is this working? I guess this is, ah, this does work. Okay. So it did give me empty space. Is that normal? I guess so. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's get rid of this one. Maybe, maybe I have to be a little bit careful on these things. I guess it starts on the thing, but uh, and this is why you would have like a sanitized thing so that you don't have Alright, so A, B, C, and then D. Okay, that's good. Alright, well, so yeah, so then now we can just travel on the P. So we can again do for D and P. It, uh, we can assert stuff like uh, d in current dot directories. I think we can assert that. And current is equal to current dot directories of d, right? 
and then now this is where the file is right so if um if f not in current dot um files then current dot files f is equal to some empty string this part i haven't i mean i don't think i worry about efficiency if i'm wrong then we'll change it but uh and what i mean by that is that we you know this is a very expensive concatenate concatenation um but you know like maybe we don't have to care about it so uh you know let's not prematurely optimize and of course this this part uh we can actually do the same thing ish so here maybe i'll just copy and paste and then now we can do return current dot files uh f right um i don't know if that assumes that this file exists but okay let's just give it a spin are we gucci we're not gucci uh we return okay mm. okay we ls on root so this is on root i mean I, we're, we're like roughly right but something obviously is a little bit off that's fine um yeah, just about specs but yeah why am i a little bit off on this one let's let's take a look uh okay this is still giving me empty string is that true is that fine that's fine. oh I, I guess i should have this back on now okay because this is empty right is that always can is that true hmm. So it doesn't really give you a em so empty string dot split. It will give you an empty string. That's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Hmm. But okay, fine. Uh, hmm. How would I want to handle that? That's just seem is that an edge case? I guess so, kind of. Uh, well. Uh. Maybe just if D is the I don't know. Then we this is kind of a bad hack actually. But um, alright. At least my oh whoops. This is also just lazy, but uh, we'll have to do it for now. Uh, keys is not. Uh, I guess keys doesn't have to be don't have to be strings. So that's why. But um, okay, fine. That's kind of awkward, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we have any silly mistakes. No, we're good. I mean, the code is kind of ugly. Uh, to be honest, and like not super performant, there are some things that we can do where, um, like maybe you could keep these sorted. I mean, it depends on what you know what we expect our access pattern to be. For example, if LS does get called a lot for certain um, certain uh, directories, then we should well opt to kind of store this in a sorted list or something like this instead, right? That's fine. Um, If ls is rarely called, then this is fine too, right? You, you don't want to pay the cost on the make directories and the add content. I don't know, right? So it's not, not that much of an issue. And here, of course, is a place for optimization. We could probably add it to a list and then concatenate them later and then maybe even store that over, right? As a, almost like a delayed concatenation thing. Um, but, you know, these are just added complexity with no use, if not necessary, immediately. Um, you know, no, no need to prematurely optimize. It's fine, uh, but you can optimize afterwards. After you know, but uh, just you know, these these are the things that you kind of pay attention and think about, and then you know, make a decision at some point. But yeah, um, yeah, all right. That's all I have for this one. Uh, actually, let me go over the complexity real quick. Um, this one is going to be O of uh, how do you want to say this? Like O of D or O of L? Wait, O of H is the where h is the height of the tree and of course i did an log n here like we said because we have to keep them in order as per the 
uh, specs. Mac Director is also O of H, pretty straightforward reason why. This is also O of H, uh, or this is O of H specifically, and this one is a little bit yucky, but uh, we'll ignore that for now. Like we said, we can optimize later. But yeah, but this is also O of H. So I guess everything is relatively, um, it's linear in the size of the input, because the input is um, O of H, I suppose. So anyway, um, that's all I have for this one. I'm not sure why this is hard. Per se. Oh, well, I mean, I know why this is hard because this is more of a system design question, and uh, or it's back in the day, like a low level system design, and you would actually like get a lot of questions about each of these things. And there are a lot of edge cases, there are a lot of like um, race conditions, and how you want to handle those things. And like, what if you know, for example, two two uh, callers want to add content at the same time, how like how yet, like this, there are a billion things, and then you have to like talk about locks, and you have to talk about semaphores, maybe if you want to handle it that way instead. And you have to kind of figure out like well, for, like now say now you have file locks and then you have to kind of handle like you know do, does do you have read locks do you have like you know um, make that you know it gets complicated very quickly um, and you know stuff that you may be able to kind of uh, just chat about if you have experience in the operating system. I have some experience in, in the operating systems, but it's also both decades away, and also I'm not. Like I don't really study it, so uh, uh, you know, recently, um, and by recently I mean like five for a decade. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Definitely a, a lot of places to play around, but uh, but it's a as a coding problem, it's pretty okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.